Stephanie Miller with Blue Avenue Music Group and I'm sitting in today for Sydney out of Wilmington. She wasn't able to do the episode today because or any of the interviews this week because of the hurricanes that came and affected Hurricane Adornian. She wasn't able to get up, but she's good and she's safe. I'm gonna sit in with Bridging the Gap. Go um, team. Glad to at hear High you Tops Music well. Bash. Sitting with Fortunate Youth. That's us, Fortunate How's Youth. We're over here at the High Tops thing. It's been great. Stephanie Miller. What? The great fortune you, Dan Kelly and Greg <laughs> over here. We're pumped to be here and thank you guys for Excited. the time and letting us uh, have this moment with you. And uh, I'm glad that homegirl is not here because I love this moment <laughs> with my homegirl right here. <laughs> but but lots, of love awesome. to all, yeah, lots of love to all the Senior hurricane awesome. uh, you know, survivors. Yes, to the hurricane. Relief, you know, so. God bless yeah. them all. And everybody's safe. You know, just wanted to stay with fam to make sure he was good. So. Yep, yep. Um, so what's up? Who are you guys? Well, we're Fortunate Youth from Los Angeles, California. Like, as far as, like, what do you do? Who are you? I'm Dan. I sing Fortunate <laughs> Youth. And uh, everyone on the band, uh, like Greg here, they play a lot of different instruments. Greg, tell me how many instruments that you're master of in the Fortunate Youth oh, ensemble. Man, too many to name. Too many to name. But, okay, uh, bass, guitar, and that I was like a lot. I like to play the guitar. So, yeah, we have a lot of fun. <laughs> we play musical chairs of instruments, musical instruments, right? So. If you like musical chairs, you're going to love Orchard <laughs> EU. <laughs> it's true. You guys are always hopping around the stage quicker than you can, like, look down and, like, turn, you know, to take a snap. And the object else is, got a new there's no limitations instrument. to what anyone can do. If you want to do it, you go F and do it. Nice. I and like that's that. what we do. I like and, that uh, you know, somebody wants to go and uh, play bass, go play bass. Go be you. That's what Fortune is about. Be you. The first three letters, for you. For you, for sure. Whoa, man, that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't make that up just now. Three it's letters. been there for a long time. Three letters. <laughs> three. First three. Yeah. Boom. I love it. So, as Fortune Youth, of course, there's more members to this mm. get up. And you guys. So many members. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's it's a big It's been band. Uh, five guys, seven drummers, and we're Fortune Youth. Seven drummers, like, one at a time, not all at the same time. It would be really random. Can you imagine seven drummers at one time? Anyway, another conversation. Sorry. Keep going. I'm <laughs> so sorry. as far as, like, band origin, how did Fortune Youth come about? Oh, um, long story, you, you short story. Just ten years, right? Yeah, like, we just did our ten-year, uh, you know, anniversary. You got to say it differently. Say you got to say it Ten years. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We've had to hang out with each other for ten years, and it's been How's pretty that? awesome. I can hate awesome. everybody. It's pretty awesome. Um, How do we go about? Well, it started with, uh, you know, Dan grew up in Mississippi. He moved out. Do you know what year you moved to LA? My SSIS. Oh, yeah. It was uh, 97 in wow. May. I remember yeah. the guitar magazine I had in my backpack. That's pretty awesome. No, it's true story then. And uh, you met six. up with Travis. <laughs> you met up with Travis Bongo. You guys started uh, Rude Boy Roots, a band, and then Corey, myself, Jared, and Travis went to high school together, and we started another band, Irish State of Mind. Irish State of Mind, we, boom! We decided to kind of jam at our, our manager, Jared Sagawa's birthday in his backyard, and we all kind of just decided to put it all together and start a new project, Fortunate Youth. And, and then 10 been, years later. It's been pretty awesome with all the love and love support it. from everyone that we're, we're still rolling. Honestly, I don't think we'd really be here for 10 years if we didn't have such gnarly fans. Yeah, out let's there. give a shout out. Shout out, out you out there to the fortunate fools. Hey. Everybody that supports us, we really appreciate you. True story. True story. In uh, I think that sums up how we started. Basically, yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what have you guys been up to? Short story. That was a short story. Was good. <laughs> short story. Yeah. yeah. I know there's probably way, way more to that story. Oh yeah, we can. No, yeah. that was about no, it. That was yeah. about it. That was about what it. have you been up to lately? Of course, well, besides touring, you recently dropped. Was it a new single? What month is it? We dropped a new EP. Yeah. It's called it's Live Life. Was there September. Right there was now? the single Live yeah, Life yeah. on it. And um, that was with Alborosi and uh, Harrison from Groundation. So that Foundation. was pretty, pretty uh, huge honor to work with those guys. Super and, huge. Uh, then we had three they other songs. They actually wanted to work with us. No way. That was even the coolest part ever. It was cool. <laughs> even, sorry. And they, they did a great job. So yeah, it was, it was an awesome uh, experience there and a new thing for us working with those guys. And then... Um, we had three more tracks on the EP that we put out. Um, we recorded at 17th Street, shout out. 17th Street Studio. Our boy Studios. Lou and, and Onik and everybody at 17th. We always uh, have a good time with those guys and it was a fun, different uh, different kind of process with this recording, so it was cool. That's really cool. 
it's it's good. And you want to shout that out again, name so the people in Nukaya fan that are coming in with Fortune Youth can go and look that up. It's on all music platforms to go and get. Go get it. Live Life EP out yes. there everywhere. It's good, you guys. You got to live life. <laughs> So let me get a funny, crazy road story. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure PG, you guys have like one. X rated, it's like, like what? PG. Shirts are off, PG. like, you know? I mean, it's honestly, it's all <laughs> it's all fair game on the table. Dan, mm. why don't you tell the story, short version, of our trip from Salt Lake to Denver, where you experienced a little bit of, of road issues, like doing 360s in a van and trailer. Oh, yeah, the 80, Highway 80. That was, yeah, Highway 80. So, like, I'm driving, you know, and we got the girlfriends and the band, and it's stuck up in a sardine can van. <laughs> and uh, and it was horrible conditions. And we were, you can actually go, it was actually a good show. We it was wild. It, was it like on the show. Wild. The it show was amazing. It was a travel youth tour on whatever year it was. Yeah, and like I'm all going, man, and I'm like two miles an hour. And then the wind ends up taking the trailer that we're attached to, and it slams right into us. And, yeah, that, that one. Like jackknifed it right into the oh, side? Oh, good name. Jackknifed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah jack I think that's what yeah. it's called, though. Yeah, yeah. basically the right side of the van hit the center yeah. divider. So and then they're going full, into oncoming traffic. And yet there's like this little rotation. wire rail that I bounce off, and I'm the driving, and I'm just like, oh, Explicit language. Oh, explicit language. Yeah. Oh, explicit language. That's how I woke up. And then <laughs> they all wake up like, oh no, explicit language. <laughs> and then I'm like, we're going to explicit language die. <laughs> and no one explicit language died at all. <laughs> but we were. And then how do you say uh, butthole puckered a little bit? You know, oh I think everyone was a little bit tense. <laughs> And then uh, we, we got out and assessed the situation. Chavi Bongo put out his He-Man strength yeah, and he, took he the bashed. fender of the trailer out of the tire. It Backed was in. the wheel well what? off the tire. And uh, oh, we, we, we ended up making it, it to the show, but it was it was pretty. There was, there's a lot of good stories I could tell. That was that yeah. was a random. That was a pretty good one, though. Also, we, we, we also had another good time where the alternator died in the middle of the night. I don't remember where we were. And then the dude that owned the auto shop, he had his granddaughter's like recital and then he had to like decide if he wanted to go to the daughter, granddaughter's recital or go help us out on the side of the road and he did help us out on the side of the road and he just pretty much we went to his auto shop and he called the cops and said yo I got this band they're gonna stay in the parking lot don't arrest them and we ended up getting a, a random bag of tools and three in the morning at 30 degrees I fixed the alternator with a bowie knife and like something weird, true story. And then we, we got that shit running before the sun was up and made it to the next town. <laughs> Sorry, explicit language. <laughs> <laughs> explicit language. Those two good stories in one. You're right, well you're right. Yeah. Hey, two for one, baby. Hey, good job on the alternator. Good job on the alternator, well seriously. Well Jacko well or tour well manager well would tap me on the back just like this. You're pretty crafty. Out. I've seen you uh, one time, these guys, uh, a band, Manja, um, out coastal North Carolina, they locked themselves out of a van. I believe it was either a Myrtle Beach or a Charleston, South Carolina show, and they had struggled, and you walked up and got something and popped it open like that instantly. And I like to help out the homies. The look on their faces. Hey, Corey. <laughs> We're going to interview Corey, okay? <laughs> Corey, He's Corey. in the band. He's, in the, band. <laughs> He's with the band. That's the colonel. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. You are. It's, it's good to be like that, like the MacGyver on the spot when you're on the road, because road oh, yeah, life true. can be crazy. It's always crazy. Um, so, what's up with like a dream collab? If you know, I'm, you had mentioned that you know artists on your um, EP that just came out were yeah. actually excited to work with you. I what's, was excited. Too. What's somebody yeah. that? Yeah, exactly. Like that's awesome. Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. Right I off the bat. Love to work with him. I always pick dead people because you know it's just like a dream, right? First of all. Yeah. It dream was a collab. dream. You're right. Collab. No, I think uh, we're very fortunate to just to be really just working and be here. So. I, I think I'm, I'm already in the biggest collab of my life every day, day to day, with the boys on the stage and, and us being healthy, us being happy, me watching them grow up. You know, I, I was way older than everybody in the band. And so for me, it's been a big honor to, to literally have my brothers uh, next to me. Uh, there's no other person I'd rather work with or, or have a dream to work with later on than the guys I work with every day. And uh, so I'm so fortunate just to be with the youth. 
<laughs> Fun on words, right? <laughs> I love it. I like that. I like that. that and you good. might see a little collab tonight because it's always fun in an event like this where there's mm. a bunch of great bands and we can all, it's kind of like a little reunion for all of us. So we'll, we might pull as many people as we can on stage tonight. So Do it, she got my guitar with us. Be on the lookout for that. I have my cajon drum, see? my bang box, you know, so I'll get up there. Never leave home without it. <laughs> You don't, you don't. As far as the collabs, we saw some of that starting off the day, and that's we've and we've talked about that repeatedly during different interviews. Is that's fest time where you can see these different musicians and bands from all different, no matter where they play, who they play to, get together and just make music, and yeah. it's so cool. It's a lot of fun. So, what's your guys' fave place to uh, jam, write music? Where, where it inspires you, location-wise? What gets you going? Hmm. Well, it all kind of started like on the couch, acoustic, in the garage, you, like know, wherever, you know, out in the backyard kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, yeah, like you said, that vibe of Sugar Shack has been really fun for us because that's really... That's where we started. Where we that's started why writing think, songs. That's that, why it did that kind so of good. style. Yeah. And, um, you know, Dan was in here playing acoustic a few minutes ago and it's always a different, like, element of, mm -hmm. of kind of, like, going about writing a song. So that's definitely a fun, fun experience and you can take that anywhere you know we'll do it on the side of the stage we'll yeah. go you know in town to some park Everywhere. or beach or something and and uh, you can get some inspiration anywhere you go so that's awesome that you can find all those different places to keep inspired because you guys are always in those different places which keeps the music going good thing for us as fans guys for the upcoming year what's up what do you got planned Anything uh well we're we're gonna have uh this week next week back here on the east coast then we head back out we have just a little bit of time off till we do a uh, Route 66 Fest out in California. Nice. It'll be fun. And then um, we are we just kind of announced our uh, fall West Coast tour mm -hmm. in November. So that's usually around Thanksgiving time, and we're going to be hitting the West Coast, and then heading to Mexico in uh, December for Closer to the Sun. Oh yeah 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 yeah. And you guys be had fun. been to Closer to the Sun before, right? Two years ago. Yeah. Not last and how was that? I don't remember it. Yeah. <laughs> that means it was a good time. I don't yeah. remember it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, our original interviewer is calling in right now with her OG question. She likes that. <laughs> oh. 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 What's up, fortunate youth? It's your girl, Sid, and I have the most important question that has ever been asked. Hard or soft tacos? Let the battle begin. Much love to my Kaya fam holding it down up north. I miss you guys. Peace and love. Oh. Both. Both. One of each. Stacking them or oh, separately? Each. You know, you get one of each, or you can stack like a them. Like a hard, soft. Thing. Okay, hard and soft depends on who's making it. If mama's making it, and you get the pan with the oil and stuff, and it's like hard. hard. Now, we're from we're from California. We have we know tacos. Uh, that's a good way to put it. Okay, so we've East had Coast. a lot of East Coast bands. I'm sure you guys get corn, tacos. Corn I'm tortillas. Sure. Corn, yeah. yeah. Is yeah, that a thing? Is that a, yeah, yeah. just corn? Good, that's a real thing. Don't discriminate. They say that it's just know? like that's no more prevalent. Is everybody's taco. corn like street style is just all over California? Right. Yeah. We're definitely yeah. into the street style tacos. You can like walk into you know. Are right you when you walk into a place? Are you a Taco Bell lover? I've never had Taco Bell. Negative. Not a real taco. You've never had Taco Bell. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, maybe, <laughs> wow. maybe 20 years ago. But once My daughter loves, loves, shout out to Allie. She loves Taco Bell. Yeah, discovered the mom Damn, and pops Taco Mexican. Bell. And you can get so much back. more like, you know, bounty and quantity of that when you go and find those mom and pop type places. Oh, yeah, yeah, support local. Always. Support the family. I've had some pretty horrible yeah. tacos though sometimes in the mom yeah. and pops. Yeah, let's we talk were, about we that after the, the interview. Yeah. No, we were middle of nowhere. Where were we, right. Jack? It was like middle of nowhere. It was like horrible tacos. Anyway, well, well, well yes, yeah, horrible end of that little question, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> tacos are good. I love them. Love tacos. <laughs> exactly. Jack was trying to think of it was. And like you, it guys, was so you had just mentioned, support local. We also love to support music. So can we go ahead and get some ways where Kaya fam can come out and follow you guys, see what events are coming on? Yep. What's your social media? What's your handles? What's up? Great to see this. We, you can check us out on Instagram, Fortunate Youth 310. Uh, Fortunate Youth. Uh, on obviously <laughs> anything, you can go check that out. You just do it like Fortune you Facebook see what or whatever. But uh, we check actually journey. go check out youth.com. Go check out our <laughs> new slide. website, fortunate-youth.com. It's new and improved, so go check it out. We got all the the dates and uh, merch and anything you guys want to stay up to date with us is is now ready for you guys all all the time. So. Mm -hmm. 
Is there like any kind of like Facebook fan group or something that? Oh you wait a minute! Yeah. I no, swear, no, that'd be no, like a really great place to. Maybe find when out it's all like all almost close to like 11k. Yeah, it'd be really good if we had one. I just, I just, I just I, it's Ooh. like it's almost. It's what is it? It would be it would be, it would be very foolish it's not to have one. It's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah, fortunate, fortunate. Oh yeah, fortunate fools. Oh, fortunate fools. And when you join this group, there is tons of ways to interact with fans all over. I have found some of my best friends. They interact. Their their the crew interacts. Like it's group it's awesome. They do it themselves. They're just like the band. Literally has nothing to do with it, and it's pretty cool just to be part of. The group. There's no drama in that group. It's so <laughs> it's fun. So cool. It's just and if you are drama, we'll cut you out. Yeah. We'll and it just out. recently <laughs> hit like 10k, like we said. And I was the first that one grows. popping that group up, and then just seeing you guys grow like that, and everybody just hopping on. And like when you tour, that was one of my most just like content popping all the time. Just like everybody's <laughs> just going off, and I love, love it. it. I right? love it. Yeah. I think when it first started that. years ago, they would be wanting to take a picture with me just to put. On to the porch of the pools, like I'm yeah. a part of the porch of the pool. I gotta take my dad. Yeah, but, uh, it's became awesome. it's became a family. Like we have like meetups before shows. We go out to eat before we come to the concerts. It's it's like I said, some of my best friends, and it's it runs itself. Like you guys don't do, I don't do it. Like the it's the fans in general. Hundred like percent. Yeah, you guys big are awesome. Ups, big up, sports and pools. Thanks. Big up, big up, big up, everybody out there. Yeah, and we appreciate you. Well, guys, thank you for coming in and being able to sit down with us today at High Top Spash. We really appreciate it. You I guys are awesome. It. I appreciate the us. stories and the time. Let's do awesome. it again. Yeah, Let's do anytime. It again. Anytime. We'll Continue to please come to the Southeast. Yeah, we will. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah.